Hello everyone and welcome back to another Forza video. We are at Mid-Ohio for the Subaru Spec Series once again. We are starting on pole and this race was full of lots of battles for P1. Uh, the front four, which is the front four you can see now, we're all going to battle for the next six laps for this first position. And uh, you'll see straight from the off, we all cut the first corner and for some reason uh, Turn 10 haven't coded the same but you can cut basically the first corner at mid or higher without getting a penalty. But we can see coming out of the first few corners, we get off to a decent start here, Rambo Jeebus gets a 0.5 penalty but he does take first position from us, he does get a better exit out of that hairpin at the top of the track but you'll just see in this race how chaotic it is. Uh, and the guy behind us, R32, makes contact with us there. And I do think he gets a penalty for that. But the guy behind Prime missed. He gets a penalty. But later on in the race, R32 does get a penalty. And you'll you'll notice why he does get that penalty. But we can see straight from the off, we're all very close together. It was a great race, this was. But we're just trying to stay on the back of Rambo uh, Gilus, or Jeebus, uh, if I can uh, say it right. We're just trying to stay on the back of him. Uh, try to get into a rhythm round here, which is very hard to do. It's a very tricky and tight turny track um, to get right. You see now coming into the last sector, R32 hits the back of our car and we do get into the grass there. Unfortunately, it wasn't a bad crash and we come sliding back onto the track there. Almost hit Prime Mist uh, coming back, on the, back onto the track, but we haven't lost too much time, fortunately. And I think Prime, uh, not Prime Mist, but R32 does get a penalty for that. And it's only a 0.5 penalty. Uh, which is rather annoying because he's somewhat um, lost us a lot of time doing that. But we can see going into turn one, we do, do go a bit wide onto the uh, red and white curbs there. Uh, and we make a bit of contact with Stikaka uh, through there. But I'm going to try hold on into fourth position. We can see he's got a four second penalty behind. So he's somewhat uh, a person we need to stay away from. Uh, but coming through onto lap two, we're going to stay in fourth position, try and get back into the rhythm and close up the top three guys um, as we are closing up the gap slightly to Prime Mist and he doesn't actually stay in the battle with us I think it's Stikaka behind us, R32 and uh, Rambo Jeebus in first position who's going to all battle until the last lap but we can see we're already on the back of Prime Mist coming into the middle sector he goes very wide into this right hander and we go up into the inside and make that move rather easy now we've got the guy who hit us in front of us who's only got a 0.5 penalty for that, uh, which is a bit outrageous um, uh, to have. Uh, he should have at least a two second penalty for that because he's wasted more than that uh, for us. I understand it might have been a mistake, but he's ruined our race and uh, yeah, it's just uh, a bit disappointing that he's got a 0.5 penalty. But coming on to lap three, we're not too far behind first place who's 2.1 seconds ahead of us. And we've got Stikaka, who's uh, got some decent pace. He's staying on the back of us through here, and he's right uh, on our rear bumper. And we can see coming into his hairpin, he goes for a dive on move. He makes contact with us, and we can see from the state of his car, he's, he, there's a reason why he's got that four-second penalty, because it's all scratched and dinted up. Uh, so we're going to try to keep, uh, keep away from him, I should say, uh, give him a bit of space into the corners. And he's going to go for a dive on move. Once again, we're going to close the gap. And uh, this should be P3 and we should keep P3. And uh, he should uh, sort of fall off from the rest of the race if I can remember properly. But we're going to try to close up to the guys in first and second. And we come on to lap four now and they're both battling. They're both slowing each other down massively. We're in 0.5. And at this point, we can probably win the race because they've both got 0.5 of a penalty. They're both hitting each other off the track. We're almost three wide going into that hairpin here. It's very close between us and we get also a 0.5 penalty for the slightest bit of contact on the back bumper of R32 which is absolutely outrageous uh, for us to get a penalty for that. Uh, if anything I think it helped him to uh, get away slightly but we can see Rambo is on the back of our bumper. We move away slightly coming out of the exit of that corner and we're on the back of R32 and surely we can possibly get the win around here. It seems like we've got the pace over the rest of these guys there's a reason why we got pole position but we get the back end out through the corner there in the penultimate corner coming onto the final corner onto the back straight can we get a good exit a bit of slipstream onto the back of our 32 coming into turn one and hopefully this should be p1 if we get it right coming into turn one we both cut the corner like you do hit a bit of the grass he goes quite wide into the apex there he takes a bit of a weird line and we do get the inside he's on the outside we make a bit of contact once again 
and he seems to get a bit of a better exit out of that corner. He's a bit of a dirty driver, I must say, but we're going to keep it clean and tidy. We could knock him off like he did to us, but we're not going to do that. We're going to uh, hopefully not get a penalty by doing that. So we're just going to try to keep it clean and tidy. We can see we're all very close. Rambo is on the back of us all. He's almost hitting our rear bumper. We're going side by side with our 32 and it's just a mega battle we are having between the three of us. Stadkaka has sort of somewhat fallen off, but he's still within a second somewhat on the back of us. But we go quite wide into that corner, but we get a lot of momentum coming through the mid part and the exit. And it seems like us and our 32 are starting to pull away from them two behind. And it's just going to be a two-way battle coming into this final lap. As we come through the final sector, we're going to try to keep it neat and tidy like I keep saying but that's just how you uh, get fast in these cars keep it clean to the apex nice and tight um, and not try to get the back end out ever so much it is quite an understeery car and it is quite fun to drive but um, you can still get the back end if you get on the power too early if you go down into second gear so third gear is probably the, the best and lowest gear you should do uh, in these cars but we can see R32 is starting to pull away a bit more uh, he seems to have got a bit more pace coming into this final lap out of nowhere but uh, I believe we should have got this win uh, after he's made contact with us he should get that two second pillar I've been saying but we can still try pull it back into the middle part and the last part of this uh, sector and last lap uh, I should say but Rambo has somewhat closed up he's in 0.5 of us but I don't know if it'll be enough to maybe make a move on us but we're going to try get closer to R32 we're making up a little bit of time into these few corners can we maybe go for a dive bomb move into one of these corners here but it seems to be a bit too far in front uh, we're both taking similar lines here we're both staying about the same amount of distance between each other and hopefully we can uh, see a mistake into these last couple of corners and take this first position but I don't know if he will he goes and takes quite a neat line through there I'm going to try get as fast as possible through these last few corners and unfortunately I don't think we're going to get the position coming on to the back straight the start finish straight and it will be a p2 but what a battle that was